there's these uh, Republican primaries going on. What are your thoughts on those as of recently? Well, it's a it's a circus, <laughs> no doubt. Uh, and it's uh, it's somewhat unfortunate that the uh, what I would call the liberal media um, can can kind of it ebbs and flows, and, and a lot of it is because you know, we they say that somebody is surging, so you know their popularity goes up and, and this and that, and it, you know it's. Um, until it comes to our state, you know, it's really, it's kind of out of our control. So, I mean, we, we have uh, a primary in May that we will, we will vote in, and uh, yeah, get to uh, we'll, that. we'll have that impact then. Uh, then, you know, up until uh, then, we're just kind of observers. And, and uh, you know, I, I see that uh, there's, there's good people. Uh, there's also people who... who uh, are chameleons? They change the color depending on yeah, on the topic and that. who and and what it is they're trying to run for. And they've been doing and, that for a while. It's yeah, and uh, and there's people that I would suggest that aren't of the moral integrity, and uh, you know, if if for example they can't even obey their oath to their wife, how do I expect them to obey mm. their oath of office? And um, uh, that's a concern. And I'm not suggesting that a yeah. person is bad because they, they get a divorce. Uh, I mean, you know, terrible things like that happen, and I understand all that. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's a, it's a, can be seen as a repetitive thing. You know, several marriages and so on. It's, it's troubling. I, I believe that, uh, again, I go back to who's going to defend the Constitution? Yeah. Who's going to be the one to... To, because of um, your moral standards and your defense of the Constitution, I'm really interested. In so, who who is it that that about? that could uphold that and uh, turn this economy around and not get us involved in in a continued police actions throughout the throughout the world? Uh, and you know, quite frankly, I think Ron Paul is the best uh, mm -hmm. candidate uh, that's that's out there. Uh, what about his view on drugs? Well, you know, uh, what he he is very uh, he's very serious of that that the federal government should be out of the drug business, and uh, I tend to agree because it's really not doing any good. But he he knows and recognizes, and I don't think he would suggest that that drugs should be legalized uh, throughout all the states, but it should be up to the states to decide that. In other words, if a state decides that. Marijuana, kind of like California. It, exactly. If if this, if California wants to, to make marijuana legal, then they should have the right to make it legal. And uh, if you don't like that, you can move out of California, you know, and move to a state that doesn't have it legal. Or change the law later on. Or something. Exactly. Yeah. And the same way with uh, uh, excuse me, saying the same. It's the same way with um, with gay marriages. Uh, I'm not. I'm not really a proponent of, of gay marriage. On the other hand, I think the federal government should stay out of it, and it should be up to the states. And so you have a state like New York that says it's okay to, for gays to marry. Well, I think that's that's their decision. That's yes. and again, if you don't like it, then move out of New York. <laughs> and uh, and yet many states will say no to that, or the same with abortion, or, or, or anything like that. So the Constitution, again, delegates specific things to the federal government, very specific things, and the rest is left up to the states. And that's the way uh, it should be. And so uh, uh, the same way with, with raw milk, uh, if, or uh, natural foods. People ought to have a right uh, to, to select what they eat and drink, and it should be up to the states to regulate that. Now granted, if you have uh, uh, commerce across state lines, it may be up to the federal government to, to make sure that there's still a safe food supply, but again, most of those regulations are just vexations and not, not something that I see what you mean. causes uh, safety and concern. So 
Right now it looks like from yesterday, um, I was listening on the radio coming here. Apparently, Rick Santorum took three states yesterday. That's pretty impressive. Does that put him in second place or in third? Oh, I don't know. Um, lost yeah. the numbers. Sometimes yet. it's I'll have it to changes it on a daily basis. Uh, yeah, you know, so you still have uh, four candidates that are uh, showing uh, viability there uh, in, in this early process, and it's certainly too soon to tell. I think they've all but, said they're going all the way to the to the end. Yeah, to I the think to the national convention, and that'll be interesting because that's that's not typically happened in the past. Usually, it's narrowed down to two or. Uh, yeah, last time it was. But to have four as is. is Huckabee uh, was the second candidate. So, uh, you know, as a sheriff, uh, that that doesn't have a huge impact on on the big picture. But I suppose that you know, depending on the, the person who goes in there uh, as president and being a uh, a guardian of the constitution, that uh, could have some ultimate bearing on on our county and, and how we do business. Uh, but I think. Uh, you know, I look at a, at a bigger picture of, uh, we were talking about the Iraq War, and, and I think there probably wasn't an American here that, that didn't support that on the onset. But, you know, as, as people become educated about certain issues and, and so on, I think that the general tone is that, you know, what are we doing there now? And, you know, maybe our justification for going in there wasn't the, the best thing. You know, again, that's uh, there, there's a, a number of opinions when you have. Uh, Afghanistan is looking worse. Yeah, and uh, you know you don't want to uh, continue with with uh, with a Vietnam. You know, where yeah. you have uh, an ongoing type of thing with it doesn't seem to be any any resolution. When you have a population that doesn't want to go with what your forces are trying to. Yeah. And it's not anything to do with being non-supportive of our troops. I'm very supportive of our troops. In fact, we, I hire many uh, military, ex-military, and also people who are in the reserve corps. Uh, we hire those those people because they're they're great employees, they're, they're very well disciplined, and they're uh, excellent employees to have. But uh, it's, it, it, um, when they get deployed, then that hurts us. You know, because yeah. we lose employee, we lose lose great employees for that time. And uh, but we're very supportive of it. Uh, we we support uh, all the veterans, and and I uh, I'm just very honored to have uh, you know. Anytime I see a veteran uh, like in uniform uh, in a restaurant, I always go up to him and say, "Thank you for your service. Appreciate what you've done, mm -hmm. do for us."